Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have a one branded tutorial for you guys. Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to film a one branded tutorial for years, like literally like maybe like the nine years that I've had a YouTube channel, I've wanted to film a one branded tutorial, but I just never have and I don't know why. But today I was like, you know what? I'm going to do Charlotte Tilbury. It's going to be great. I'm going to give it my best and yeah, so here we are. So if you'd like to see a one branded tutorial using Charlotte Tilbury products, then just keep watching. Also, one thing before I start, I just want to say that I will use some more like commonly known products from Charlotte Tilbury, but I will try and mix it up with other products that I have in my collection from Charlotte Tilbury, just so you can kind of see a little bit of everything. There are a few like super hype products that I don't own, but that's okay. We're just going to roll with it anyway. Okay, so I'm going to start off. Sorry, I'm not using like my fancy Fandangle camera that auto focuses. But I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. So this is like a luminous base that I like to apply to my skin. So I just kind of distribute it onto my skin. And I like this primer because it does have like a little bit of like goldy tone to it. So I don't fake tan my face. I do fake tan like my rest of my body. But I don't fake tan my face. So it gives like, it kind of like balances the tone back into my skin, which I really, really like. I do wish that they would come out with like different undertones, like maybe like a rose gold one, but this is still absolutely stunning and gives such a beautiful glow. But before we do that, I am going to be using the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't know why, but this one I bought like before this one and the writing's gone all jumbly and I was on a makeup group and someone else, well, like a few people had the same. It's the same with the back. It's all real. I really only buy my Charlotte Tilbury stuff from Charlotte Tilbury's website. So I know that all my stuff's authentic. But yeah, just so random. Like, I don't know why that happens, but it doesn't affect the product, which is the main thing. But I'm going to use the shade Fair and I'm just going to go in the like highlighted points of my face. I'm not going to go underneath my eyes just because, I don't know, I don't like to do that. But I'm going to put it in the center of my face. I'm not going to put it on my nose just because I will um, just put any excess that I have there. And then a little bit on my chin. So I'm just going to use my foundation brush and I'm just going to pat this in. And this just adds like a little bit of like an amplified glow. I do have the shade medium as well, but I don't know. I feel like I do like the shade fair a little bit better for this. Um, days where I just want to kind of like equalize my face, I'll use the shade medium, but for days where I want to do like full glam or at least like full coverage, I do like to use just the light color and then yeah. Just so you guys can see like the color of the medium on my face, I'll just apply a little bit to like the bottom parts of my cheeks. Just so you guys can see like how it looks and stuff, may as well. So I'm just going to blend it in. Obviously, I'm not going to apply it to the rest of my face just because I feel like it's going to be a waste. But like, honestly, some days I could just do this. See how it just balances out that color so nicely. You know what? I'm just going to do the rest of my face because it's going to look weird without it. And then just blending that in as well. You can use your fingers. I've definitely used that in the past. And honestly, this stuff is just gorgeous. Like, if I was just going out, I would just continue, like, I would just call that done for my base. Like, I'll just conceal a little bit more, but I wouldn't even need to put foundation on the top. But I just wanted to show you guys how that kind of looked on the skin. So if you love, like, a dewy, glowy look, this is just absolutely stunning. It doesn't look like you've got, like, a liquid illuminator on your face, though. Like, that's the thing that I really, really love about it. Like, before, I would always use, like, those Becca, like, the liquid drop stuff like the liquid illuminators I would use that as like a primer type of thing but you couldn't wear it alone because it had like such a color to it but this stuff because it is like tinted like a skin tone it doesn't look overly obvious at all it just looks like you've got like a very glowy beautiful complexion so I absolutely love that but now I'm going to put makeup over the top like foundation over the top 
So for foundation, I am going to be going in with, I think this is like the fullest coverage foundation that Charlotte Tilbury has in their line. I'm pretty sure. I haven't tried like their newest one in that squeezy tube, but I'm pretty sure that that's like a light to medium coverage. This is like full coverage and I absolutely love this as a full coverage foundation. This has literally blown every other foundation that I used to love out of the water. This stuff is the bee's knees. I wore this on my wedding day if that is anything if that means anything to anyone, I used it on myself. I used it on my bridesmaids. I love it. My bridesmaids love it. Everyone that I've put this on has loved it. I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I do do like friend and family makeup when they need help and stuff. Like I don't make money from it. I just like doing it, if that makes sense. But anyway, so I'm going to use about half a pump of this shade just because it is a little bit dark for me at the moment. This is 7.5 neutral. And then I'm just going to mix in a tiny little bit of five neutral as well. So I'm just going to use what would be like a pump. If you fake tan and you can never find the right like tone for your skin, honestly, give 7.5 from Charlotte Tilbury a go, 7.5 neutral, because honestly, it is absolutely stunning. Might do a little bit more of 7.5. Yeah, honestly, it is absolutely stunning. I just cannot speak highly enough of the stuff. I guess the only thing that I will say is a not a downside, but it is like a hard thing to consider is finding your right shade because there are so many shades. It's just by chance I got like a good shade the first time around and I was able to just kind of like buy my mix in colors after that. Like I'm not even joking because I knew that I was going to be wearing this foundation for the wedding. I think I bought like I'm not even kidding, like six shades. And this is now the foundation that I use whenever I do like family and friends makeup. To be honest, this ended up being like mostly 7.5. Okay, I've dragged my, my foundation a little bit too high and I wanted to show you a corrector. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend this one out and I'll show you the corrector under this eye. But yeah, like honestly, like one pump is enough. I actually probably could have gotten away with 7.5 like as the only... Um, the only shade I should have done that but anyway what can you do but yeah do you see how like beautiful effortless and full coverage that is like you can still see some of my beauty marks like I don't know if you can in camera but I've got three beauty marks here and a few more like on this side of my face it's weird how like I have like beauty marks on this side and not on this side but anyway but yeah like you can see how much it covered like it covered up my sunspots like no tomorrow so yeah honestly just absolutely stunning and I still have like that much left over which I know doesn't look like much but that's probably like half a pump so I used about a pump and a half on my hand and yeah honestly and I've got a big head like I've actually got like a big head so like if you have a smaller like thinner slender head honestly first of all I am jealous but second of all you probably don't even need as much foundation like my head is huge my cheeks are huge like I'm just going to grab a little bit of that foundation on my finger and I'm just going to pat it on my blemish on my nose just because I haven't found a foundation, um, not a foundation, a concealer from Charlotte Tilbury that I like the coverage of. Normally I'd go in with like Kevin Aucoin Central Skin Enhancer or something like that. Okay, I'm going to do corrector. So this eye I accidentally put foundation under so you'll see what that looks like and we can compare it to the eye where I haven't put any corrector like I, I mean foundation I think I put like the tiniest bit to kind of like fade it in but besides that like m most of it isn't covered like you can see that this one is distinctively darker than this side so I'm going to show you the Charlotte Tilbury like corrector thing I don't know the name of it because what I've noticed is that the names aren't printed on the bottom only the shade name so this is in the shade medium to be honest I'm pretty sure she's only got one like concealer that looks like this um so if you do need it like if you go to concealers, you'll be able to easily find it. I'm using the shade medium. I also, I also have the shade light as well. So I'll show you that just so you can compare. If you're used to using like Bobbi Brown Peach, I'd probably go for like the medium shade. Um, only maybe go for the fair if you are fair, because at least with dark circles, what I've noticed is if you can get like a dark, rich color, and obviously there is darker than this. I'm pretty sure there's a number three. But if you can get a dark rich color, then it really does help correct that darkness. So I've just got a little bit on my pinky, I mean my ring finger. And I'm just going to pat that underneath my eye. You can see, you know what? I am going to put 
correct or under here because you can still see some darkness. That's probably the only thing that this foundation doesn't cover is like the darkness. And honestly, you do not need much. I kind of just swirl my finger in there, like maybe like two circles, um, little circles, because you can see where on the pan I have like pressed. For concealer, I only have one from Charlotte Tilbury and it's called Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't have that many concealers, but this one kind of reminds me of like the Touche Clar in a way. I'm just going to twist it a few times to let some product up and then I'm just going to pat this underneath my eyes just to kind of like offer that correction that I need. The only thing that I don't like about this is that sometimes when you twist it, it doesn't come up. So you're like twisting endlessly and then like you'll waste a whole bunch. Like I've just twisted it so many times and barely anything's coming out. It's weird when I use my finger and like I press on the sponge, stuff comes out. So I'm just going to do that. I'm actually tempted to like rip the sponge off. Cause that's what I did with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and honestly, no regrets. So I'm just going to like, I'm literally just like squeezing this. I personally don't think that this is worth the money just cause it is really, really hard to use, but I do like it once it's on the skin. It's not overly like thick or high coverage, which is very different for me, but I feel like with the corrector and stuff, I don't really need it. And I have mine in the shade number four fair, which isn't really that fair to be completely honest. Like you can see it on my skin. I like, I would much prefer it in like a doe foot applicator. Cause I feel like I haven't used it a whole bunch and you can already see like how much I have left. So I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless complexion perfecting micro powder. I have it in the shade light. I'm just going to grab a little bit on this elf brush. And I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. It's funny. I use this um, powder on my wedding day. And honestly, I feel like it looked like rubbish on the wedding day. But then every other time that I've ever used it, it looks great. <laughs> and I literally just set my under, eye pow um, my under eyes with that. So I literally just set my under eyes with it. That's it. For my face, I'm going to be using... And then for the rest of my face, I want to show you guys the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder Under Eye and Face Powder. Oh, I should have done like a side by side. That's okay. I'll show it in another video. Um, this one is in the shade medium, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, number two, fair medium. And it's like a yellowy toned loose powder. I really appreciate that it has like a little sieve that like opens and closes. And it doesn't dispense like a heap of product. And I'm just going to set my face. I wouldn't say that I like this more than my Laura Mercier powder, but I do quite like it. So there's that powder on my skin. Really, you do not need much at all. Like it just, it just does what it needs to do. You don't need a whole bunch and it's just nice on the skin. It doesn't like overly set your skin either. Like if you don't like like a super matte look, and you don't like when powders like really like suck up all the moisture, then you will really, really like this. If you like like a full matte look, stick to the, like that pressed powder. So I'm going to do my brows off camera. I don't have any Charlotte Tilbury brow products. Okay. So brows are on. Let's move on to the face. I'm going to be doing the face and eyes like kind of alternating for a little bit. So I'll try and explain it the best that I can, but I'm going to start off by using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. I have mine in the shade number two medium. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. And to be honest, for the amount of money that you pay, you actually get a decent amount of product. Like you get 16 grams. That's like two Nars Laguna bronzers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a little bit. That's what the product looks like in the pan. I don't want to blind you because the packaging is so like intense, but, and reflective, but I'm just going to use a Zoeva brush. This is the Lux Sheer Cheek Brush. And I'm going to just put that on my face. I don't swipe it like this. I really just pat it onto my face. And that seems to really, really work for me. I don't know why, but I always put bronzer like just here. This looks like such a natural bronzer. Also, sorry about my hair. 
Um, I'm really, really bad at hair and I really want a Dyson Airwrap to get better at hair, but at the moment I don't have one and I'm really rubbish at hair. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of the bronzer as well and I'm just going to run that underneath. This is quite a warm bronzer, so I don't want to like really contour. It's really just to kind of like mesh all the areas of my face together. Oh my God, my lips are feeling so dry. What I might do, I don't have like a Charlotte Tilbury lip balm or anything like that, but I do have this Pillow Talk. I think it's like a hyaluronic lip bar, like lip gloss type of thing. So I might just show you guys that so you can see the color of it. I haven't really used this much at all. And the doe foot applicator is meant to be like a little love heart. That's actually such a nice color, like just for like day to day. And it's just got a little bit of a minty like taste to it and like a little bit of a minty feel, but it's not like stinging or anything like that. Okay, I'm sorry if this is where things might become a mess, but I'm gonna take the bronzer, like the big bronzer thing, and I'm just gonna take an eye brush and I'm going to put a little bit of this on my eye. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing but I'm just basically putting this through my crease. So I just kind of have that on my eye as like a bit of a base. Honestly, like if I was just not doing much, that would be enough like eyeshadow and stuff, but I'm gonna show you guys more. So I'm gonna be using my Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I'm gonna use the Sculpt shade for now. And I'm just gonna use that same Zoeva brush. And I'm just gonna take it like on the corner like that. So it's not like the full brush is in it. And then I'm going to sculpt out my cheekbones a bit. And then I'm just going to dip like flat into like the powder. And then I'm just going to run that along my jaw to like be like the real contour. But I like to run like a little bit of bronzer down there as well. Just so it kind of like all fuses together because like this is a whole different color to what it was before. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm just going to take a little bit of the sculpt powder and I'm just going to run it down my nose. And then I'm just going to take that same brush and I'm going to dip into the sculpt powder again and I'm just going to work that into my crease, but just not as high. So now I'm going to use this absolutely glorious palette. This is the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette from obviously Charlotte Tilbury. So you got, oh, got my fingernails stuck on it. So you've got three cool tone, three warm tone. I actually like the warm tones and normally I am a cool toned gal. So that is saying a lot. I feel like with Charlotte Tilbury, her products make me want to wear warm tones. I don't know why. I'm always a cool tone girl. And then as soon as, soon as Charlotte Tilbury came around, it was like, oh no, I actually like warm tones. Don't know where it came from. No idea, but it is what it is. Oh my God, I can't even deal with my hairs. So I'm just going to start off by using this shade on the end and I'm just going to kind of like build up in the crease. I'm just using a Zoeva Luxe Petite crease brush and I'm just like concentrating it in the crease. Now these shadows, they're not matte by any means. They've actually got like a really, really beautiful sheen to them. It's very, very unique. I'm just gonna take the middle shade like the middle of the three warm ones. And then I'm just going to define my outer corner with the same brush. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of this white color here and I'm gonna put that on my eyelid as like a light wash. If I wanted to, I could also use the highlight color. I might actually use that on my brush and just kind of put that in like the inner portion of my eye. I'm going to take a little bit of the highlighting powder and I'm going to put that underneath my brow bone as well. But instead of putting it like the whole way under, I'm just going to concentrate it on the arch of my eyebrow. I used to do this when I was younger and I did it the other week and I was like, oh my God, I actually miss that. Now, I don't have a nose bridge, okay? Some of you might not need to do this. I do. I don't have a nose bridge. Like literally, I never realized until I went to buy like sunnies one day and the lady was like, oh, you don't have a nose bridge. You can't wear like these types of sunglasses. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> but anyway, so then that comment has always stuck with me and I'm not insecure about it, but I do like to kind of like not counteract it, but I like to tweak my makeup to accommodate for it. So I'm just going to grab that all over shader brush and the highlight powder. And I'm just going to put a little bit just here where I'm meant to have a nose bridge. 
and then I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip so it all like fuses together. On my top lashes, I'm gonna be using my Color Chameleon in Black Smolder. This is just like a black, like coal eyeliner pencil. I'm gonna use it like above my lash line. And sorry if like you can't see, but I also can't see. <laughs> So I'm just going to trace like a thin, thin line along my top lashes because I do want to stick on falsies like after this. On the lower lash line, I've shown you guys this in a few videos, but I'm going to be using my Pillow Talk eyeliner and I'm going to line my waterline. This is like a pink toned like pencil, like a very like Pillow Talk color. And I'm just going to also trace my lower lashes. Now I'm going to take my Super Nudes palette again and I'm just going to mix these two colours that I used on my eye. But I just kind of like to not only set the pencil but also just make it look like not so harsh so it doesn't look like there's just been like a line underneath like your eye. Okay, so I'm going to move on to mascara. If you watched my honeymoon like makeup look, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But I included this mascara in it so if you want to know my thoughts on it, watch that. I'm just going to not say anything this time. Now I'm not going to put it on my lower lashes just because I actually do get smudging like at the best of times. So I have to use my MCO Beauty. But So if you see mascara underneath my eye, that's what that is. But you can see my top lashes. I'll close my eyes. Can you see that? Anyway, that's my lashes with this mascara. This like lip glow stuff oh, feels divine on the lips. So I'm going to go on with blush now. So I do own two of these, like, what are these called? Cheek to Chic blushes. This one is in the shade Pillow Talk. And this is, I think, is like the light Pillow Talk color. And this one is in the shade Love Glow. I don't really know what color. I kind of wanted to use this color. This is a Lux Cheek Finish Brush. And yeah, this blush is like so glowy. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of that love glow, like as like a bit of like a contrasting pop. Oh, I like that. I feel like with love glow, so this color here, I feel like it, you can't put on too much. Like it just looks stunning. But with the pillow talk, like it can look like too much really quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go put on lashes off camera um, because literally I do not look like myself without lashes on, as sad as that sounds. Um, I'm going to put my lashes on off camera and then we can finish off the lips. I'm just going to grab a little bit of like a tissue and just kind of like blot that lip stuff that I had on my lips. Oh my god, it actually feels so beautiful. Like if you're someone who likes to wear like lip balm or something like that all day, this feels really, really good. I haven't worn it for like an extended amount of time, so I don't know like how good it is long term. But for the short amount of time that I have had it on my lips, it's felt gorgeous. But I'm just going to blot that off now. And I always do this step. Like I'll always have like a lip balm on my lips and I'll always blot it off. Okay, so... For lips, I'm going to start off, I'm going to do like just the classic pillow talk because this is my first one of these videos. And I was like, you know what, like, let's just do the classic. So I'm going to start off with the pillow talk lip liner. As much as I love Charlotte Tilbury, I still think that I prefer my MAC lip pencil in Spice. I do want to get like another shade of like this lip liner just to try because I don't know if I don't like it because I don't like the shade or if it's because like it's not like my MAC Spice Lip Pencil um, or if it's because I don't like the formula because I love how the formula stays I just don't think that I'm a fan of the colour so this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk it's a part of their matte revolution um, so far I've shown you the Pillow Talk lip liner the Pillow Talk blush the Pillow Talk like hyaluronic lip flush thing or whatever it's called I'll list everything and like their proper names down in the description down below um, but this, I think, is, like, their first, like, iconic lipstick. Um, I think it's part of the Matte Revolution range. And I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like on my lips. And, yeah, I love the Matte Revolution lipsticks and how they feel on the lips. Like, they're just so nice and thin and beautiful. And they smell amazing as well. Pillow Talk, in my opinion, isn't my favorite shade. Um, my favorite shade is actually Very Victoria. 
which is actually like so similar but it's just a bit more like grayish and a bit more like honey love and velvet teddy but i still really really like this color i'll definitely show you guys what very victoria looks like in an upcoming video at some stage because i really need to start showing you more of my stuff like i feel like i just use the same few products in every video Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you want me to do any more of these one-branded tutorials because I really, really enjoyed filming this. Um, I just love seeing how different brands, like, as a whole, work with themselves. And I feel like Charlotte Tilbury is just one of those brands where, for the majority, all of her products are just so beautiful. I do want to try her eyebrow products. I have a few more things that I want to try from them, but honestly... Like, I love so much of their stuff. Like, I feel like I feel like they are the brand where I feel like I have so many products that I love from them. Like, it's not like, oh, yeah, I've got a few that are okay and a few that are nice and a few that I love. It's like, no, most things I love, and if I don't like them, it's for a reason. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on about Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm going to let you guys go. Have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.